All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome to the channel. Just me today. These videos are typically better when my wife is joining me, right? But hey, duty calls. So we're checking out Mockingbird by Carly Simon and James Taylor on the channel, finally. We checked out Carly Simon for my first time uh, just last week with my wife. And in researching who she was and that apparently, you know, she was married to James Taylor, we have checked out James Taylor on the channel before. Um, I didn't know that that's where that song in Dumb and Dumber came from. I know it's like a weird thing. This is where I get to pull my immigrant card. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't know, like, I thought just with like the movie that they were making up the song. So it's real. So let's check out the original Mockingbird, Carly Simon and James Taylor. Song was posted on YouTube 14 years ago on Carly Simon's channel has 6.8 million views. I'm guessing this is when uh, they were together. Let's check it out. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and hanging out with me. You're supporting this channel just by, just by watching. If you want to support some more, hit like subscribe. Check out the description down below to check out our sponsors and help yourself while helping us out. There's also a tip jar there. Thank you all. Main sponsor of today, Hydro Jug. Stanley Cup suck. These babies don't spill. Hydro Jug. Go Coda Duran. Duran at checkout. Hydrojug.com. All right, let's check out this uh, classic. Nice. We have to do pauses. All right, this is just fun, dude. It's just fun. Um, I'm getting distracted with James Taylor's hair, hairline there. I'm not, like if you're bald, cool. But it was just a different time. We used to own it. Now people are flying over to Turkey to get those, those implants. Actually, comment down below. Have you been one of those folks? Did you go to Turkey and get that done? Did it work for you? Taking a quick look at the comments, people are commenting just how happy he looks. Which, yeah, a lot of the stuff we've checked out of James Taylor has been, yeah, more folksy, more chill. So this is, like, kind of fun to see him just, like, having a lot of fun. But you can tell they have a very meaningful relationship here. Look at, look at that look. Nice. Dude, her energy is cool here. <laughs> this is great. She's barefoot. It's gonna be the last one last pause in today i've a lot of our live performances are overly uh choreographed you know like my daughters dude we can't stop watching that that freaking taylor swift concert on disney right now and like it's good but this like it feels like the artist is really like letting you into their life for their performance because it's just it's just spontaneous real and it sounds amazing so there is talent and skill there but again, it's spontaneous and it adds something. What is that? Comment down below. Like, why? Why is this so different?
she's got fantastic energy, dude. This is so different from seeing her perform You're So Vain. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah. What a great era in terms of hair and style, bro. What a great era. Yeah. Yeah. Music was just special during this era, dude. Like, perform it, like... I think I'll just watch Look at that. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what their, you know, breakup and divorce was like. I don't know, you know. Hope not too tumultuous. I haven't really checked, like, looked into it. But they're... They were having fun. They were happy and they brought joy to others. So what a great memory and moment to have documented. Again, I can't get a his look, bro. I can't I can't get it out of my head. Receding long hair, the mustache. I just see him in just his swim shorts, gold chain, lay, like with like the robe over, laying out in the pool, smoking, drink like that that's that's the look I'm getting. Grand Theft Auto Vice City, you know what I'm saying? It's great. I love it. But I'm telling you, dude, we just don't have we do have performers like this, right? You know, like I think of like, you know, Chris Stapleton, things like, like we do still have we I dog on my generation quite a bit. We do have great musicians. But the thing is, back then, the most famous were the most talented and best performers. I think that's the thing. We still have them. But somehow the pure talent has has come lower in the hierarchy of what matters to make someone famous and stuff like this still being out in the internet i think that's what makes us so important gives us a chance to rethink the, the things we prioritize in in the people that that drive our culture you know so i think we can change that and hopefully we do and i'll be i'll, I'll be optimistic i think we will because the talent that's going to come and the hard times that are here and, and will come will I think we'll look for the more authentic and pure talent because right authenticity inspires you to be a, your own authentic self. And then the talent inspires you to become your best. And I, I, I think that's what we need so much from entertainment today. So that's why I've really enjoyed checking out some of these classics with you all. Thank you for the suggestions. Keep them coming. There's so much to appreciate. So thank you all. Thank you for hanging out with me, guys. What are your thoughts? What are your what do you think? Comment down below. I'd love to hear them. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.